an author named Tom Corley, who wrote a book called The Daily Success Habits of Rich Individuals, the majority of the young and successful people that he spoke to were C students in school. Most of them were not very successful in school academically. They were C students, which puts you, which means you're, you're not far above failing right at that point. That's an interesting fact. Doesn't surprise me. And you hear this a lot about really successful people where they didn't do well in school. And a lot of them didn't even go to college. N not academic su success stories, in other words, uh, but then they go on and they become success stories out in the world. I mean, we all we all know the story about Albert Einstein, who was, who was not a very good student. I think those stories are probably exaggerated a little bit, but uh, but still, it's it's all part of this. It, it's worth asking. Well, why is that? How could it be that you could have people who are brilliant and very talented and hardworking and ambitious and ambitious and all that, which is what you would need to be to succeed in the world? But how could you have someone like that who who who, who can't handle, you know, grade school. I think it's because the education system emphasizes, demands certain skills, certain qualities that have nothing to do with intelligence, nothing to do with ingenuity, um, nothing to do with creativity, or any of the things that the education system should be fostering. He, here are, these are really the two qualities that you need to have in order to do well in school. These are the only two. You have to be good at memorizing and regurgitating information. And you have to be good at sitting still for long stretches while performing rote busy work. Those are the two skills you need to have. If you have those qualities, you will be an A plus student. Pretty much guaranteed. You could have an IQ of 85. You could be a, a, a in fact, I, I went to school with uh, plenty of kids who I don't know what their IQ was, but they were clearly not very smart. Some of them, frankly, appeared to be huge dummies, but just in talking to them, right? You just have a conversation. You realize, wow, you are kind of stupid. Right? You don't say that to their face. Well, maybe sometimes you do. You shouldn't. But they would get a, they'd get straight A's. And then, and then of course, for, for a lot of kids, they, they think, well, wait, I, I'm definitely smarter than that person. Why am I getting C's over here? Because, well, it's just because of this. If you have the, if you can sit still, and not think about anything else and just think about your busy work and you can memorize and then regurgitate what you're told, you'll, you'll do great. And those are good abilities to have, by the way. I'm not knocking them, but they aren't abilities that will necessarily translate to success and fulfillment outside of school. So there's a huge disparity where success in education depends entirely on qualities that of themselves won't do much for you outside of education. And, and that's a big problem. See, that's something we really need to focus on.